Interesting one. This was called what is your anime hot take in Japanese interview from Takashi? He goes around in Japan and basically interviews people and we're about to get some hot takes from actually Japanese people about their own animation. ちょっと見たんですけど、自分にピンとこなかったのと、わかりました。ありがとう。やっぱ違ったなっていうのが個人的にあって。Debating, they're baiting. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Takashi from Japan. So today, I'm going to interview Japanese people. Not gonna lie, I didn't even know he had a full-on YouTube channel. I've seen his short-form content on TikTok. I never knew he had a YouTube channel. But what anime is overrated? I also asking them what anime is underrated and their most favorite anime of all time. Yeah. Okay, let's get started. Boruto, Black Clover, Fairy Tail, Sword Art Online. We have the usual suspects, right? Everyone hates that. Sh everyone hates on that shit. What's gonna say? Beast. Beast! Listen, listen! I love Demon Slayer now, but I can totally understand why people would think this. It is very... Yes, she's right. Market to be simplistic? Well, I think that Shonen is definitely trying to hit on that young demographic. Shonen literally means like little boy, right? Young boy. Shonen Jump is like young boys, right? That, this sounds fucking weird. I gotta stop fucking that. Anyways, um, I think she's bitten. I think that it is very simple. The plot is so easy to understand. And the more unga boonga simplistic it is, the easier that everyone can kind of get on them. Because it's like low, ex like low barrier of entry. Therefore, a lot more people are going to love it. They're going to say it's great because they see the movie tier animation and fights. But then actual hardcore fans are going to say, yeah, this shit's overrated. Yeah, I mean, it is, right? It's just fights. There's no actual fucking insane plot. It's a very surface level plot. But simple doesn't mean bad. And I can understand why they call it overrated, but I can also understand that, like, the general, just the hype that it produces, why people love it. I totally get why people love it, but also at the same time, why people would think that it's overrated. <laughs> exactly, right? It's marketed towards kids, and there's a lot more kids with more free time watching this shit than, you know, grown ass men with the family. I had to drink my coffee. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. How the fuck? You gotta come in with the most base take of saying Demon Slayer overrated. And then Fairy Tale, another enemy that people would assume is so fucking overrated, is suddenly underrated. What's the logic? Let me hear the logic. でも友達とかに面白いよって言うとあんまり知らない子が結構多いんですけどでもやっぱおすすめして見てもらうとみんなめっちゃ面白かったって言うし鬼滅の刃と比較した時に意外な展開とかがめっちゃ多いからアニメ
Is it? Maybe with the ending it is. It, it, I think that like people thought this shit was overrated for the people that only saw season one or season two. Beyond that, if you've actually seen this show, bro, it is a work of art. It is pure cinema. The fucking writing is on another level. But most people that only saw season one think that it's just Unga Boonga Slayer. Sounds like a skill issue, bro. You couldn't follow with the fucking plot of your Unga Boonga brain. Yes, that's what makes the show good! Because of all the foreshadowing, all the setup, all the things that you see in season one, you think it's just normal shit happening, but later on you realize, oh my god, and you do a rewatch and you realize it was in front of me this entire fucking time. That's the beauty of the writing. How can you say it's overrated? This motherfucker just wants to see a bunch of dudes, just, just a bunch of twinks and full body suits run around, all getting sweat and shit. Blue Lock is underrated? This is glazed like crazy too, bro. What do you mean underrated? You know what's underrated? Captain Tsubasa! Captain Tsubasa is underrated compared to Blue Lock. Blue Lock's fucking. Oh, it's just basically Unga Boonga Slayer. Uh. I do like that. It is a twist of rather than the team and for the sake of my friends, it's all about personal ego and trying to overcome yourself and you're competing against yourself. I do enjoy that. Yeah. I wonder how many of these Japanese people are going to say One Piece is their favorite anime because like obviously One Piece is very popular, but like in Japan it's even more. I think Naruto is more popular in uh what's it called? Naruto's more popular in uh the global audience compared to the Japanese uh sorry, sorry. What am I saying? Naruto is more popular overseas compared to One Piece. I don't know exactly why. It's some sort of like marketing they did, but yeah, One Piece, but is way more popular in Japan than Naruto, I think. Okay, I honestly love people like this. I love it when motherfuckers show up fully aware of what they're about to say is about to trigger millions of people. Let's hear why One Piece is overrated. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? You see the laugh of Takashi and both? They both knew it was a spicy take, look. One Piece. To <laughs> and then the laugh they do, because obviously they're like, oh, people gonna be mad with this one. Yeah. <laughs> That's it? It's just too long and what? Everyone likes it too much and it's too long. You don't actually care about this story. It's just... There's too many motherfuckers that enjoy this shit and I feel like I'm not part of the party and it's still fucking airing and I have to hear about these monkeys talk about One Piece every day as if it's like the next coming of Jesus Christ. Yeah, I can get that. I think a lot of people... Like, no, no, genuinely. I think a lot of people feel that, um... Whenever I, and, this, and this is something from a personal experience too. And Demon Slayer was the same thing where a lot of people are all on board with this one new trend that I haven't really gotten myself into. And I feel like I'm like not part of the party, not part of the trend. And a part of me kind of feels like, hmm, well, I don't really need to. Like, why would I bother? And then people talk more about it and it's getting more hype and I feel like I'm getting left behind. And something about that causes me to be biased against that show and be like, it's not that good, it's overrated. But then you actually try it and you realize, you know what? It wasn't that bad. I don't think this guy actually hates One Piece. That's like a pretty, that's a pretty monkey take. Like the reasoning, I don't care if you hate One Piece. That's a base take. But like, give me an actual reason as to why you don't like One Piece. And everyone likes it too much and it's too long, it's pretty weak. <laughs> Oh, okay. Based, based, based. Good anime. Fantastic anime. You haven't seen this shit? This is fucking peak fiction. So is One Piece, though. But Osama ranking, I'll take that. I'll take that. 
主人公の気持ちがちょっとハマってしまってあとジャリンコチエンめっちゃ I sympathize with the protagonist. <laughs> so, I don't know if I should be laughing at this or if I should even think this is funny. But if you knew who the protagonist was in this show and the fact that he can like relate to that person on like a personal level, I. Moving on! Okay. <laughs> 4年生なのに、okay. 自分のお店でホルモン焼いて働いてるんですよ今までで一番好きなアニメ一つ教えてくださいこじこじさくらももこが原作してる These are very niche animes that I've never heard of a very old old OG series が原作してるアニメなんですけど唯一無二うんユニークユニーク、うん、なるほど、okay. メジャーだけど自分はそこまでってアニメありますかそうですね鬼滅の刃<笑><笑> I love this Do you slayer slander Anytime people come out to shit on Demon Slayer, because <laughs> it's so popular with the kids, but like, the, I don't know, like the young professionals and the working class and like more people in like reaching their like late 20s and 30s, maybe they just have like a completely different opinion. I personally love it, but like, again, I started off as a Demon Slayer hater. Why do you hate it? Yeah? What? The characters are young, so all the killing and brutality kind of bothered me. What?、Uh, I mean, a lot of the Shonen Jump series, like Naruto, One Piece, Bleach, like, they're high school kids too. I mean, I actually don't know how old Tanjiro is. They're like probably like 15, 16 year old range, right? I don't. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah, you can say it's pathetic, but I can under. Like, he must be like a super pacifist. Like, he doesn't like killing in any anime? Like, if it's allowed if it's older people doing it, I'm not sure. <laughs> まあちょっと引っかかるなっていう感じですね。あんまりあれだけど自分はめっちゃ好きっていうアニメあります。そうです。七つの滞在って。You motherfucker. You gonna come here saying? Well, then again, I don't actually know how all these characters are, but like, it's another shonen series. It's just a battle. It's a one battle shonen and another fucking battle shonen. I've never seen Nana no Taizai, so I can't really give an opinion on this. But like, is it that different from Demon Slayer? っていうアニメはめちゃくちゃおすすめしたいですね。まあ一気だけまあ作画はいいので。Yeah, I hear. Okay, I have. I do know a little about the anime in terms of like the production value of like, yeah, they call it the seven deadly frames, right? And also, there's a whole lollicon debated shit like that. But like, oh my god, bro, hold up. Can I pull up a picture here? Seven deadly frames. If I just Google seven deadly frames. <laughs> Okay, hold up, hold up. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Wait, 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 It's Microsoft Paint. It's fucking Microsoft Paint, bro. <laughs> These can't be fucking real. I mean, this looks good, right? This looks good. But, like, oh, yeah, you, you can see why, like, you know, people shit on Seven Deadly Sins and calls it Seven Deadly Frames, man. まあ、それ見ていただいて、まあ、あとは今まで一番好きなアニメ教えてください。早そ々うそうのフリーレンっていうアニメをおすすめしたいですね。I mean, what about Farron and Stark killing? Huh? They're pretty young. Come on, man. You don't actually hate Demon Slayer just because the kids are young and they're killing. They're killing too, bro! I'm going to kill them. 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 Did you just say it's overrated? Hold up! Kind of base? Hold up! Wait, 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 wait! What anime is overrated? Based! That's right! I'm tired of motherfuckers coming around and saying, oh my god, Freedom is the next level of cinema. Just walking them, walk across the next level of cinema. Just walking them, walk across forests. And rivers and ambiance and mood, bro. Oh my god. Nah. I think that Freedom is actually good. 
I think the freedom is actually good, but it's always fun to hear other people, you know, give spicy takes on like a popular opinion. Boring in the middle? Oh! Oshinoko and freedom on fucking blast. Now, before we go to Oshinoko, what did you guys say? I think they said it's boring in the middle. Which part? So maybe it was like the um, part with, uh, what was that guy? The Milf Hunter guy, right? Because like I think all the stuff in the beginning was like a shock to people and then the dragon hunting shit with Stark was fucking hype. But then there's some parts in the middle. I, I think that demon arc was fucking amazing, right? Versus Aura. But then Zion stuff, a little bit adventuring part with the priest exactly. And with Zion as well. A little bit slow for sure. A little bit slow for I I I can agree with that. Okay. <laughs> I was expecting to be good at first. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying episode one was bad from the beginning? Hold up. I wonder what this person's saying. Because like if he's saying that episode one was amazing, but then afterwards I got baited, I can totally agree with that. Explain more. No, you need to give us like more reasons as to why it was though. Oh! Underrated? The most watched anime in the whole fucking world in 2016 is the most underrated anime? What do you mean? Is this shit not like the most overrated? Um, should I skip this part? Uh, I think they're gonna give very simple surface level explanations, so I don't think it matters. There's gross scenes, sure. <laughs> See, that's it. Their explanation is, there's some gross scenes, but it's good. So like, yeah, oh my god, I got spoiled. Oh my god, guys, Dumbledore dies! Oh, I can't watch this shit anymore! Regulus has 291 wives! Oh, it's over! It's, it's actually so funny how many people got triggered in that stats chart video about the anime harms. It's like, bro already got spoiled for season 3 and he didn't even start season 1! Come on! That doesn't actually fucking matter. You know it, I know it. Okay. Ooh! Yo, Chivalry Field Night! We watched this! This is great! This is low-key base take right now, right? An anime that did not get a second season, unfortunately, but the events that happened in season 1 was very fun to watch. Oh, he's not! Ito Shura! No, he's not! He's perceived weak by everyone because he can't use that specific thing that every other student does, but it doesn't matter because he's more OP with his other methods. Alright. Based! Based! Yo! This guy's shitting on Oshinoko and loving Kaguya's number one enemy of all time. Loki, these things. I love these picks, bro. It's a little spicy, right? Shitting on Frieden and Oshinoko, but then like, why? Shit will be a failed night, underrated, Kaguya's some of the best enemy of all time? Like, I can get behind that. I haven't seen this. I hear a lot of people talk greatness about this. Similar like how Full Metal Alchemist, right? These old anime that's supposed to be so fucking magnificent, right? Maybe one of these days this can get voted into our roster of community series. Yeah, yeah, I did hear that it's kind of like revolving around time, like uh, time travel, so that's not really a spoiler to me. Alright, that's it! That's it! We're cutting it here! I just realized that it's been 4 minutes and 48 seconds of this video. We're not, we're not even close to being done, but this is reaching 20 minutes right now, so we're gonna end it here for now, and then we'll continue in the next couple days. This is actually so fun, though. I love hearing, you know, spicy anime takes and their reasoning for it, but hey, I'll see you in the next one.